Well, I've talked to you about some of the pork in the stimulus package and what people are calling earmarks and what everybody is talking about. And uh, now I want to talk to you about what really scares me about the stimulus package. And that's the um, money that Obama has set aside for health care reform, even though he has not set forward a plan of any kind. Now, what we do know is that his first pick for health secretary was Tom Daschle. And if you want to know what Tom Daschle thinks that we should do with our health care system, then you need to read his book. It was published in 2008. It's called Critical. What can we do about the health care crisis? Um, in his book, he is pretty clear um, on what he thinks. And I'll get into that in a minute. But um, Daschle didn't become health secretary. But that doesn't matter because Obama's plan will stick to Daschle's plan. Daschle is who he wanted, and there's a reason Daschle is who he wanted. He liked his plan, okay? We already know that Obama thinks that if a child survives abortion, um, it should be wrapped in a blanket and taken to the soiled linen room and left to die. We already know that. So that's what we know about how he feels about how life begins and how people who are just beginning life should be treated. We know that. They should be left on a table to die if nobody wants them because he doesn't want his child punished with a baby. Um, how should people be treated at the end of their life? Well, let's look at Dashiell's book. In his book, Dashiell praises the European um, form of medical care because they have this opinion toward the elderly that um, the, the doctors and the medical practitioners of Europe are more willing to accept hopeless diagnosis and to tell their patients to, you know, you're old, you have a hopeless diagnosis, you're diabetic, you know, you're going to die from it. You're, you have osteoporosis, there's nothing we can do. It's an old age thing. You have macular degeneration, wait until both eyes go blind and then we'll replace one eye. We'll, we'll do surgery on one eye and you, you can see out of one eye because you're old and you don't matter. So the elderly need to accept hopeless diagnoses and forego experimental treatments. And I'm sure that that will be broadened to um, extraordinary life-saving treatments too because I mean they're just the elderly, right? So what we know about Obama is that he set aside all this money for a health care plan and we already know that he has no problem allowing a baby to die. And we already know that Dashiell has no problem allowing an adult, an elderly person to die. This is Obama's health care plan. And while everybody is arguing over pork and earmarks, Obama and his horde are bringing us socialized medicine. They want to cut down the population, of course they do. It'll be easier to control us all and feed us all because we're not going to be able to feed ourselves because the government is going to control everything. So here's just a little part of the stimulus that people ought to be talking about. People ought to be more upset about this than how much money they're spending to figure out how to stop pig farms from smelling in Iowa. People should be more concerned about this. Don't you think? Tell me, how do you feel? If it's your mama or your daddy and the doctor walks in and says, well, you know what? Your mom has lived a good life. She's 85. She's had a long life and now she has these problems and well, we, we think you should just take her home and let her die. That's what it's going to come to. Read Dashiell's book if you don't believe me. Look at Obama's attitude toward health care. Look at his opinion on abortion. I mean, it's all right there for you to see. If you just put it all together, it's like a puzzle. There are pieces. And there's a piece over here that might seem unrelated. And there's another piece over here that might seem unrelated. But you put them together and you've got social reform that will not have a problem with killing Americans. Read Dashiell's book, study Obama's policy and how he voted against saving the life of an aborted child three times while he was in Chicago. 
and then tell me that he cares about your welfare and that he's going to care when you get sitting in a hospital somewhere and you're 85 years old and you've got a disease that they just don't want to bother treating. Then you tell me how much Obama cares about you. I'm done.